Hello everyone, this is Do A Dreamer. So, I was asked to do a video on giving my thoughts on a what-if scenario for Dragon Ball Z. Uh, that's just not just a request, it's actually a birthday wish from one of my viewers by the name of Jack Hamilton. And he wanted me to weigh in my thoughts on what if Raditz or Vegeta went to Earth instead of Goku. So, I was happy to oblige and actually thought about a couple of things. So, here is my thoughts on... If Raditz or Vegeta went to Earth instead of Goku, I would think that the Earth will definitely be conquered and belong into the Empire of Frieza. If, if say, Raditz and Vegeta went to Earth around the time Goku was born, and they were actually all around like little kids, probably around like five or six at the time, I think Raditz would have uh, some a little slight difficulty in conquering Earth. But I think with Vegeta, even at that tender age, he would definitely conquer the Earth with no effort. Now, why I say this is because if you ever watched the movie with Bardock, which is Goku's father, around the end of the movie, you see Vegeta in that very young age was able to conquer an entire planet by himself. And this was when he was very young. So if he's able to do that at that age, imagine what he can do to Earth if he went to Earth instead of Goku. So I think with Vegeta, uh, with very little effort, with Raditz, probably with a little bit of effort because the, the, they do have strong warriors there on Earth. You know what I mean? But anyway, um, I know some people are going to be wondering, well, they do have some strong fighters like Krillin, Yamcha, Master Roshi, even the Ox King, even Tien and Chao Su. That is very true, but I don't think they'll be able to be a match for someone like Raditz or even Vegeta. Uh, definitely Vegeta. But I think that if there is a defender, I think that one line of defense that I would think that would be a match for these two Saiyans would be Kami, you know, the, the, the guardian of the earth. I think Kami would be the very best bet in defending earth from either Raditz or Vegeta. I mean, I think he'll be able to defeat Raditz with no effort. As for Vegeta, uh, there might be some difficulty. And I think that in, for the sake of the earth, he'll probably release King Piccolo and probably bargain with him into fusing with them because we know that if King Piccolo and Kami fuse together there'll be one powerful being it was said that he's almost as powerful as Frieza himself if they fuse but I think that would be the best bet if they have a defender and I think Kami fused with King Piccolo will be a good defender against Vegeta and Raditz in my opinion so that's my thoughts on a what if scenario if Raditz and Vegeta went to earth but um I'd like to know your guys thoughts on what do you think if Raditz and Vegeta went to earth instead of Goku what would happen Get, uh, feel free to leave your thoughts and comments down below. Tell me what you guys think. And we're going to discuss and debate about it. And also, thank you, um, Jack Hamilton, for giving me this um, idea to do this video. And I hope you enjoy it. And also, want to wish you a happy birthday. All right. This is Do A Dreamer. And always dream big.